Hi, I'm Tim Gaspar with Gaspar Insurance. Wanted to talk a little bit today about how to insure high-end fashion bags. That can be anything from Louis Vuitton to Prada to uh, Ferragamo to at the really high end of the spectrum, a Birkin bag. Don't think that just because I rode a bicycle to work, I don't know something about insuring these bags. <laughs> so honestly, you know, the, these bags can be really high value. And things happen. You could have a situation where you spill red wine on a bag. You could have a situation where your home gets burglarized and they get stolen. Um, you just forget where you put it. And so it's really a good idea to make sure that you have the right insurance on your handbag collection. So first things first, generally speaking, if you have a homeowner's insurance policy or if you're a renter, if you have renter's insurance, typically these bags are going to fall under your personal property limit of coverage, which depending on what that limit might be, it's typically pretty significant. If you have a home that's worth a million dollars, your personal property coverage might be 700,000 as an example. So that's a lot of coverage, but keep in mind that 700,000 is meant to insure all of the other property that you own, furniture and clothing, electronics, and all those things. And then also if you have a claim, uh, it's gonna be subject to your deductible. So if you have a, a $5,000 or $10,000 homeowner's deductible and your handbag gets stolen, it's not gonna be maybe enough of a claim uh, to, to be more than your deductible, depending on the type of bag that got stolen. And so insuring your handbags under your personal property coverage on your home insurance is typically not the best way to do it. What you wanna do is get a special type of coverage for your handbags on something called a personal article floater. So that's a separate policy. It's the same type of policy that you would get if you have high-end jewelry or artwork or collectibles or something along those lines. You can insure the handbag special on that type of policy, and then you can actually list them out by name. And there's a few advantages to doing that. Number one, personal article floater policy typically has no deductible. So if you have um, a single bag that gets stolen or destroyed, you can file a claim without having to eat a portion of the loss. And then second, the coverage is better. And so the coverage that you get on a personal article floater, a lot of times will be worldwide. If you're the type of person that has Birkin bags, I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess and say you're the type of person that probably also travels. So having worldwide coverage is really important. And then also the coverage is, is better. It's, it's uh, us insurance people. It's what we call more broad. So uh, an example of what might be covered could be maybe your dog or your cat destroys your bag. Maybe you do spill red wine on the bag. Those issues might not be covered by a homeowner's insurance policy, but they will generally be covered by a personal article floater. The same thing is true if you uh, experience something called mysterious disappearance, which is really just a, a fancy way of saying you lost it. You don't know where your handbag went. So that can certainly happen. In the event you lose your handbag, uh, you can actually file a claim on your personal article floater for the value of the handbag. And so, you know, hopefully this was helpful in regards to knowing how to insure your collection. These handbags nowadays are really expensive. And so having insurance for them can give you a lot of peace of mind. Frankly, for a handbag collection, it doesn't cost a whole lot. So I hope that was helpful. Um, follow me, uh, subscribe for more interesting uh, insurance uh, tips and tricks. Thank you so much.